lead me to my point. He said everybody in this league now likes to slow things down, and because of the shortage of bodies, there's Beckers gets the scoring going for the Huskies. There you see the three leading scorers in the Big East, all in this game and on the floor tonight. The to the bench for Nova Beckers with the hesitation and the bucket. Playing out of position has served her well. The, the lifetime guard has played a forward at times this year, and she's gotten really good at scoring in the lane. And you know, UConn only is 0 for 3 from three-point range. They're going to pack it in if they don't shoot well. Another Nova turnover, and Ali Edwards streaks down the court for the score. Quarter number one. Aliyah Edwards leading the way for UConn so far. She's got five rebounds and three points. Gino Ariema is leading her in the game with those two fouls, trusting that the senior will not commit her third. KK Arnold commits a three. And that will be something UConn would really like to see more of. Yeah, they were 0 for 4 prior to that. Villanova won't be able to pack it into the lane as much if UConn can start knocking down threes. Beckers, let's Edwards set the screen, reverses course. Right for position in the paint, Edwards drives, yes. That just shows you how tough she is offensively, what a move. For, uh, for UConn, particularly in, in the game against uh, Villanova at Philly, it was uh, a theme as well. Here's Beckers looking for some room. Nice move by Paige. You know, she got a couple shots early, and I wondered why she stopped shooting the ball. Paige Beckers can get a shot every time down floor. really good games in this conference. We've seen a lot of them. We've seen as Ashley Shade gets on the board. Two Villanova players picked up two quick fouls. Christina Dalsi and uh, Megan Olbrys. As Beckers gets the bucket and the foul. I thought that whistle was a little bit late too. Beckers is not going to settle for any sort of a jump shot. She's trying to get into the lane, drew that contact. Another example of where you can see her strength has improved so much, particularly that upper body strength. Well, and I think she needs to be more aggressive offensively here. Pretty screen from Aaliyah Edwards. Becker's equally good going right or left, but she's been in traffic so much tonight. I like how she's driving there into the lane through people, splitting the defense, and choosing the contact, showing her strength. Four of seven from the floor. And as I said before, the more she shoots, the better this team will be. Edwards again looking to post up. Now she'll step outside the free throw strike and drain it. That's a part of Edwards' game that has just gotten so much better and so consistent, and it makes her that much more difficult to guard. That just lack right there between the two of them. Eli Jones with the Nova bucket. Beckers with the three for UConn. Nice screen by Mule. Screen and finds Samuels. Pull up jumper, no. Nice box out by Olsen. And Arnold comes in for the steal, it goes to Shane, who puts it up and in. That's evidence right there, you never give up on a play. Becker is guarded by Olsen. Playing one on one here, up and in. A little stare over at the official, <laughs> like no foul call there. <laughs> is Beckers on Runyon. Olsen comes over for the double team. Beckers gets the bucket, no foul. And again, and she looked look. at the official again, like, really, no foul? To the left. And Arnold comes away with it. Beckers. Got it. Used all the rim. 180 and down. Paige Beckers. Two for three from outside, 21 points, but that was before picking up her fourth foul. 
Samuels. Now Edwards. Got it. When all else fails, go to who's most reliable, Aaliyah Edwards. One of the leading scorers in the nation. Edwards working on Oriole in the paint. Wide open Samuels. And drains the three. One of the most timely threes of that freshman's early career. It's far from over. And yeah, it is far, far from over. Becker's out on the floor now. You're gonna have to use her smarts, both she and Mule. Went to the bench early with two fouls, and she's been there for a long time with three. Here's Becker's. Got it. She still seems reluctant to shoot the ball. You're just reading the defense. Sweet touch. She needs to shoot the ball more. more. And a timeout by Gino Ariema and UConn. Got a close one going tonight in the home finale at Campbell. What can UConn do out of the timeout here? Here's Mule. Driving all the way to the rim, Nika Mule. You need Mule offensively. She's such an important part of this team. What is going on? Gina was just wondering, what are we doing? He just called and a timeout. He had to call a timeout because it looked ridiculous. Good decision by KK Oil to not give it into Becker's before. Mule steps around the defense and buries it from the free throw strike. You just got to move the ball side to side and you'll get an open shot. Shade from the corner, got it! Pretty good time for Shade to knock in. That three, she needed it. Good ball movement on the offensive end to the freshman who knocks down her second three of the game. We heard Gina say, come on, Paige. For some movement, got it there. She drives and gets it. High glass for Paige as she twisted her body to avoid running into the defender. A reminder that Paige has been playing for some time now with four fouls. Pulls up and adds two points. Out of the 29, 31 points tonight for Paige Beckers. And a steal from Arnold. The bucket and the foul. 